And we just finished drilling the well the other day to 605 foot. It makes about three quarters of a gallon a minute. So we're going to go ahead and hydrofrack it. Ironically, while I was drilling the well, um, the customer showed up here and me and her talked for about 30 minutes. And she was here, I guess, Friday after we had finished at 405. And uh, she was curious about wells. So she went on YouTube and then she noticed the correlation between all the well drilling videos and the trucks and uh the trucks that was actually sitting here so she put two and two together and realized that it was me who was drilling the well kind of funny okay turn our camera on all right so we are roughly 46 foot and if you can see right here that is the static water level all right, so we have reached the bottom of the casing. You see right here? So that's the casing lip, and then that's the rock. That's where the two meet together. Really pretty. Nice granite. So I made my way all the way down to about the 90 foot mark, and the rock looks good and smooth all the way around. So that's the reason why we camera it, to make sure we have a smooth bore hole to inflate the packer in. All right, so any newbies, beginners, people who've never watched this before, this is a packer. This is steel belted with rubber on the outside. This is solid here, steel, solid steel end here. This center section inflates. It swells up like a balloon, like a car tire. And as it inflates, it kind of shrinks in size. The, the bottom portion, as this swells, this will move up. And it slides on this center shaft here, which is hollow, and high pressure water will come out the end of this, which is connected to the big hydraulic two inch hose reel. And it's powered by a little four cylinder old 1980s GM motor that spins a big, basically giant pressure washer pump. Kind of simple, but not really. And then uh, we gotta get this little crane, pick up the packer, stick it in the well. All right, so as you saw, we got the packer in at 85 foot, and we have to inflate it now, and then we will start the fracking procedure. Now, when I drilled this well, around 245, 250, I noticed a really soft zone, uh, probably five foot. Um, it cut really, really fast. The, the rock, everything got thick. I had to turn up my water. Um, so I really thought the well would have made a lot of water naturally. So realistically, we're probably going to be pushing on that 250 foot zone, and that's where I expect it to blow out at, just based off of the notes that I took when I was drilling. So um, I don't know what kind of pressures we're going to get. The well only makes maybe one gallon a minute naturally, so it may be high pressures, or it may bust at 900 or 1,000 pounds and then just take it. But I expect this thing to take it uh, really well, but we'll see what our starting pressures are, uh, you know, versus our end pressures. So let's get to fracking. All right, let's get the whirl. We're good. Yeah. That was a five minute run. We drained 300 gallons in five minutes. So we need to go ahead and refill the tank back up. It gives you an idea of how much we're flowing into the well. Yeah, about 800. I saw like 14, 1450. And then uh, it wouldn't take any more than second gear. No, it won't take.
take third. Not yet. Third gear like 600 PSI, not 800. We'll see. So we finished round two. Whoa. About to fall off. Now we're about to start round three. I like to let it sit to where I can allow the pressure to rest back down. See, it's about 200, 150. So now I'm going to go ahead and hit it with third gear. It seemed to help last time. Hey, look at that dog. Look at that dog. That dog got a death wish. All right, let's try third gear. Well, we just finished with the last and final run. It was great. I was able to get third gear wide open. That means we were flowing 40 some, 45 gallons a minute into that hole. We flowed, I don't know, about 2,000 gallons in about 30 minutes in, in total. Um, yeah, so she opened up nicely. At first, with the amount of time it took for it to open up, running it in second for so long, I didn't know if I'd ever be able to get it into third, but uh, after I put it in there and kind of forced it, it actually opened up nicely. So now we've got to let things cool down. Well, we've allowed 20 minutes for the packer to deflate. We've got water flowing away for probably the last 15 minutes. And I had a nice conversation with the homeowner. Let's see how the water looks. Oh yeah, look at that discoloration. That's good. All the stuff that was plugging up the veins blew it out. Nice. Got a nice little, nice little flow away here. A few gallons a minute, probably three. But that doesn't mean anything. Won't know until we test it. You ready to pull it out? Ready to pull it out. Alright, now based on past fracks, I'm going to estimate this is going to be somewhere around three and a half gallons a minute. Now, it's total estimation, guesstimation, I don't know. Well, it's been a few days since we were here and hydrofracked it, and I know everybody always complains that we never test the well. So I brought a generator, we're here to do the pump system, we're going to do a pump test and figure out exactly how much water that this well makes after fracking. Okay, before we install the pump, which we've got the pump system ready to go, I'm going to go ahead and check the static water level with our new acoustic meter. Alright, it says uh, static water level is at 30 foot. After we're done, we need to make sure we're going as well. Okay. Look at that beautiful crystal clear water. Very happy with that. Holy shit. That is like super clear. That's amazing after a frack to have that clean of water. But that is coming from 300 foot in the ground. So I assume as we draw the water level down, we'll get some uh, more turbidity in the water from all the stuff we cleaned out of the vein. But man, look at that. That's beautiful. 
gorgeous. Okay, we're gonna let it run like this for probably 45 minutes to an hour, monitor the water level, and then we're gonna turn it off and we're gonna monitor how fast the water level comes up. Now, I know a couple people are gonna say, oh, the correct way of doing this is throttling it, put a valve on it, and get it to balance out at a certain point. Now, you're correct, but if we pull it down to 200 foot and we monitor how fast the water level raises back up, that'll tell us how many gallons and how many minutes the well was able to refill. So theoretically, you're gonna get within about a 90 to a 95% accuracy doing it that way. If you want 100% accurate, you need to stay out here for about eight to 10 hours, pump this thing nonstop, and then put a valve on the end of it and throttle it into a five gallon bucket to where you can balance the water level at around 250 foot and see how fast you can fill that five gallon bucket. We're not doing that. This will give us close enough to what we need to know. All right, it is exactly 12 o'clock on the dot. See what our water level is. 183 feet. All right, so we're gonna come back to this in 15, 20 minutes, and we'll see what our water level is then. We don't have any more time to continue to run this. We ran it for a little over an hour at this point, but our excavator is here, so we've got to move everything out of the way. And um, yeah, so we probably flowed 350, 400 gallons of water out of it. So it's just time to get the job done. We'll see, we'll see what it makes. All right, it has been exactly 15 minutes, about 10 seconds. Wow, 140 feet in 15 minutes. So let's do some math here real quick. That's that's 42 feet. Okay, so that equates to 63 and a half gallons in 15 minutes, which is like 4.25 gallons per minute. So makes four, roughly four and a half gallons a minute. Now. I had checked it previously um, from 182 uh, within about the first five minutes and it shot up to 170. Uh, I think it went from 182 to 170 in like three minutes. So that was like 15 gallons uh, in three minutes. So that equated to five gallons a minute. Um, so it probably is going to balance out somewhere as you, as you draw it down with a seven gallon a minute pump that's set at 300 foot, I don't think you could run the well dry. I think the pump itself would balance itself out. So the well makes enough water now that they can do whatever they want. So she just was worried because they were gonna have horses. So I think, um, I don't think they're gonna have a problem, which is, which is fascinating. The well went from three quarters of a gallon a minute naturally to um, we'll call it four and a half. So, hey, it was great. Too, too soon, huh? Oh yeah. Oh, the rain. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. They're putting plastic under here. Got my tank all done. Sixty feet of plumbing under here. It's crazy. And they uh, ran one inch main peck, so I swapped everything over to one inch pecks instead of three quarter inch. Cool. All right. Well, that's where I leave y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Make sure if you haven't, give the video a thumbs up. We'll see y'all on the next one. Pretty good results for a frag. See y'all later.